Hello everybody, Red King here. Welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We have massive breaking news that of course the comments of course already spoiled it. <laughs> but we're gonna check the producer's letter that apparently just shadow dropped on us uh, literally five minutes ago as of the recording of this video. So I'm gonna try to upload this as quickly as possible, but everybody should know because there's some spoilers in the comments already. So let's uh let's go ahead and, and check this out. Um, I need to check if I can mute the audio for this, so, uh, I know, dark screen, I know, dark screen moments. Let's go ahead and play this. Uh, is there any audio? Oh, there you go. Hi to everyone all around the world. I'm Omatsu, main producer of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Hi everyone, I'm Ken, a member of the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle staff. Sorry about that. I was trying to mute the other the like screen and I had to go to the other page. This year, as the theme for parts one to three of the campaign, we focused on Broly from the Dragon Ball Z movie trilogy and characters such as Goku and Gohan who faced him. This time, we are bringing you the latest info to mark the end of the worldwide celebration hated showdown campaign as well as revealing the update schedule until the 10th anniversary and more. Let's dive right into the newest info on the Worldwide Celebration Heated Showdown campaign. This time, from the countdown on, we have implemented events that focus on the movies. Starting with Garlic Jr.'s banner illustration on day one of the countdown, we held a seven-day event looking back at previous movies. And as you all know, we focused on Broly from the Dragon Ball Z movie trilogy in the Worldwide Celebration campaign. We have a final edition of Extreme Z. I was going to let uh, Ken talk and things like that, but there you go. Final edition of characters that are getting Extreme Z Awakened. You might have already realized it, but... Okay. Here are the two characters. To be extreme I don't know. I mean, awakened. we didn't realize it. We didn't expect they it. Are. Yes. There we go, dude. Gogeta and Janemba. That. Oh my god. That is so sick. Let's go. Gogeta. The Tech Gogeta. Of course, this is like the uh, the opposite of the LR Vegito character. Uh, these guys are getting very easy. Super Janemba and Gogeta. That is just. Oh my. Mwah, mwah, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, they they dropped this bombshell. Okay. From Goku and Wow. And Vegeta Angel and Boiling Evil Super Janemba. After featuring Dragon Ball. There, there's the news of the event period. By the way, it's on October first. Is when they're showing out. Wow. So in like four, it's like next week. Yeah, Tuesday to Wednesday. So Wednesday morning, I'm assuming for me is going to. When it's going to be the time when these ECAs are going to pop in. That's insane. That is beautiful. Oh my god, we love that. Okay, all right, let, let me just leave these guys talking. For Z, Fire Brody, in part three of the Worldwide Celebration campaign, we will be focusing on Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn, bringing you these two characters for Extreme Z Awakening. We will announce their abilities at a later date, so make sure to check them out. Okay, abilities discussed at a later date. Oh, they're getting their own equipment too! We are adding new stages to Dragon Ball Z Memorable Battles Movie Edition. We have prepared skill orbs exclusive to the two characters introduced, so try getting them. Oh, that's awesome! That's so the, here comes the question though when are you guys adding the characters like blue like blue vegeto and samasu and trunks and gohan when are you guys adding those characters into the memorable battle so we can get special equipment for them we would also like to go over our progress on the update schedule to the 10th anniversary oh as well okay as provide some in-game info as mentioned earlier first here is the update schedule. We announced the in-game content up to the unification of operation schedules before. And this time, 
it will be the content from the unification of operation schedules to the 10th anniversary. Please take a look. Okay. So this is the new schedule, it seems. Uh, Octo change of the summon format. Okay. The greatest warrior. This is the... This is for when you go, like as a beginner, you train with Goku and everything like that. Oh my god, super hero! <laughs> yes! Heroes! We're getting the campaign still. Okay, I'm happy about that. <laughs> yes! Heroes campaign, let's go. Alright, so we're getting the greatest warrior. This is, I, I guess they're gonna update the, uh, the Goku? The new form, like the formable Goku. If you guys know, the tutorial for the greatest warrior is the the free-to-play LR Goku, the version C Goku, who is like really, really good for free-to-play players. Are they gonna do like a revamp of that? Character details, that has to be like for a new character, it seems. Uh, and then of course, icon in battle. So they're adding new stuff. Uh, coin collecting campaign for the 10th anniversary. It's gonna be starting now? Is that gonna start now? Okay. And of course, in development for the 10th anniversary, new skill added, character details too. I'm assuming that's going to be another character coming into the game, etc. Then, of course, on October, it seems that we're getting the Dokkan Awakening for Bardock. If you guys don't know, we got a free-to-play Bardock from the quest mode. Uh, that Bardock and the Frieza are supposed to be awakening into an LR. So I'm assuming, are they going to do just that? Just, they're going to awaken those characters into an LR? Uh, in these sections, like October, we're gonna get Bardock as an LR with whoever's next, and Frieza maybe with like King Cole and Cooler. That could be like a, a a nice little LR, and Bardock could be like a Goku and Bardock character. You know, Dokkan original characters. That could be nice. I am so stoked that they introduced this man. Who <laughs> heroes camping? So we're still getting heroes. We're still getting heroes. I. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I summon on everything. I know that. But I might just try my best to save for heroes, man. I love heroes so much. If you guys don't know, I went pretty ham last year trying to get all the characters for heroes. And then, of course, apparently we're getting the Divine Dragon Carnival uh, banner. Whoever's going to be the Carnival banner. Uh, well, it's going to be like that. But it seems as though that's going to be the main focus of their campaigns. And then we get to the 10th anniversary. Okay. Uh, I'll let uh, Omatsu uh, talk. I, I, you know, I'm blabbing right here. We also got like nine minutes left uh, on this producer's letter. We'll reveal in-game info up until the 10th anniversary. The main key points are in-game event info, in-game updates, summon format for future summons held in user campaigns. Let's get started. I'll leave it to Ken for more details. I got you. All right, Ken. First, here is the in-game event info. Bardock oh, there you go. in Quest Dokkan Story Chapter 6 in May can be Dokkan Awakened in October and the Dokkan Awakening of Frieza Final Form will be available at a later date. Please. So they're both coming in, well, Frieza is going to be in like December or something like that. November, December form. time frame. Bardock is going to be in October. Up, we have this. The countdown campaign so we're just the gonna start anniversary, that's a nice little logo though 10th anniversary jesus that's crazy complete missions to get 10th anniversary warm-up coins this worldwide celebration campaign the schedules of the japanese version and the international version have been unified this means that this campaign as well as the 10th anniversary itself will be held at the same time oh uh, well there's confirmation there so global and jp will celebrate the anniversary at the same time with the users worldwide this campaign will continue until january every month there will be different missions oh that is awesome that appeared during the specific that is so cool so in october we're getting the first and second anniversary like who were released up characters the second anniversary in october oh that's awesome in november we'll focus on characters who were released between the end of the second anniversary and the end of the fourth anniversary we have planned so that veteran players can relive their experience 
playing with oh yes dude oh imagine i was fighting with broly with like the older teams <laughs> like the very difficult broly dogan event dude oh that is awesome press certain characters will be strengthened in november what december for limited time so please wait at Certain characters are gonna be strength. Why, dude? Not not for a limited time. Imagine using like first anniversary Gogeta. Imagine me using that right now. Uh, of course, just give them the easy, like super easy ace, man. <laughs> Let's just do that. Little more. Enjoy challenging events with your favorite characters. Next up, let's look at the update info. This is the update. Of the character details page. Oh, okay. So you're just updating character details pages. I thought it was like a new Dogan Festival character. But here are two main updates for now. Firstly, we will visualize the number of times certain actions were performed in battle. Here is the actual in game display. Okay. The number of attacks oh. performed, super attacks performed. Oh, that's cool. Guards in evasion pretty nice. will be displayed separately, and the total will be updated as the battle progresses. How many times he dodges, he receives an attack, takes a super attack, like does a super attack, and does an, a normal attack? Conditions such as evade, blah blah times, in which you have to manually count. Yeah, that was an issue. With like we had to count how many attacks this character did. So now they're gonna add it in there. In oh, battle. that's awesome, dude. Secondly. We added a details button for the passive skill section in the character details page. Until now, you have oh, to the passive skill button. Beautiful. To the beautiful quality of life update. Nice. See, depending on the section you want it's going to make it easier for us to do that on showcases. Too long. However, with this update, you can easily check the details of the passive skill. I love how we're just showing the Japanese pages. Moreover, for minor fixes, we have remade some of the icons. Ooh. Also, oh, we have different icons now. now. To distinguish in one glance. But, okay. That's all for the UI improvements. Nice. For this time, That's awesome. We will keep on considering further improvements in order to let players have a better gaming experience. Next up, we have info on the changes to the greatest warrior. Okay, that's we yeah. The greatest warrior for new Dokkan battle players to learn the basics of the game through these panel missions. However, there were some issues, such as having too many missions that take a long time to complete. Having a people hard like time just to lazy, huh? Events with the <laughs> too many missions. To, I feel like the mission thing was good time. because it has to go over too everything it's in the game. Like I don't, I don't see that. Missions making it hard to know what to do next so we are planning to implement the following oh wait a minute wait i've seen some new characters in here what is that what is that that's a gohan and piccolo krillin yamcha tien chaozu those are new characters what is that missions at a better pace players can recruit six characters and form a category team just by clearing the panel missions the event will not only teach players how to play the game, but will prepare you to become an intermediate to advanced player. Oh, well, that is that is a big that is a big deal. Nice. Starting from this update. Furthermore, we plan to improve the user interfaces related to the panel missions as well. Please check the in-game notice for more details. I'm trying to move the mouse so it doesn't just stay where it needs to stay, but it doesn't want to. We are taking this opportunity to implement this update for format players and those who are interested to play but feel like they can't catch up. So if veterans you know, can't play the game? Or colleagues like that. Like veterans cannot test that out so we can do a video on it. Prepare for the 10th anniversary. About the updates in the 10th anniversary, we plan to include updates such as introducing new skills, and improvements on game display. For more details, please wait a while for the 10th anniversary. Of course. Lastly, we'll give you info on new summon animations, please. For or skip button for the summons, please. Up until now, 
we created to measures so that new characters appeared in the Japanese version first, then the international version later. Yeah, of but course. Now, uh -huh. We plan to unify these measures. We introduced a new summon format for the legendary summon held last October. And now, we'll be going over the upcoming update. I'll leave it to you, Ken. Sure. All right, what do we got? Seeing everyone's response, we discussed with the operation team and eventually came to the conclusion that the Dokkan Festival's and so Dokkan Festival and Legendary Summon will be unified. So what, are we going to have pity for Dokkan Fest now? Although the format itself will be the same as the Legendary Summons, we would like to take this opportunity to explain yes, it once please. again. Take a look at this slide. As introduced in the past, this is the... Oh! So now Dokkan will have pity. You're guaranteed to wow, so Dokkan Festival characters will have pity, it seems. I, except for like, uh, well, as we see in the asterisk down below, worldwide download, like worldwide campaign celebration, uh, anniversary, Dokkan thank you celebration, say and day campaigns will not have this uh, feature. So now we are going to get pity for Dokkan festival characters, it seems. That is, oh, that is so good. That is so good. In both versions, after you perform a certain number of summons. Thank you for the introduction. The guarantee system introduced this time will only be applied to token Facebook held in usual campaigns, which means it won't be applied to large scale campaigns such as the worldwide celebration campaign. Anniversary celebrations, Dokkan Thank You celebrations, Cyan Den campaigns. I mean, it's obvious because that's the area where they get a lot of money. So they will want you to spend money on getting like dragon stones and things like that. Meanwhile, the other Dokkan Festival, like let's say Master Roshi or other characters, we can be able to get pity. We can be able to get the characters the same way that we were able to get like legendary summon card, uh, like legendary summon cards, like Cell Max and other cards. Several okay, uh, that's away. that's a good so update. Our tenth anniversary. Today, we've introduced to you the start of a countdown campaign. And as we mentioned in the update schedule, we have prepared a lot more approaching the tenth anniversary. The operation team will continue to do their best. I mean, that, that is... You guys are you. stepping and in on a good start. That's good. Until the, the, next video. <laughs> the fact that we, we're talking already about the 10th anniversary, dude, it's just crazy. That's awesome, dude. I like that. That's insane. Okay. So the biggest bombshell that I thought this news was going to get was uh, the announcement of the ECAs for Gogeta and Janemba. Uh, but now we have something completely, uh, completely different, which is awesome. I like that. That's very freaking good. Okay. All right. I like to see that. Uh, I don't, did you crash, buddy? Is everybody watching your uh, your video? I wanted to highlight the uh, this. Yeah. So we're getting the ECAs for Gogeta, the Tech Gogeta and Super Janemba. Awesome, because I, I I really wanted this guy Gogeta to get his ECA. Uh, I hope that they make him as busted as they did with the uh, the physical one. So, yeah, listen to that, dude. We're getting the memorable battle stages for them, uh, and a lot of plans being have being made for the tenth anniversary, uh, which is very good. Pity for Dokkan Festival characters is awesome. Of course, this is not going to be headlined or available for main main celebrations like anniversary or worldwide celebration or Saiyan Day and things like that. Uh, it seems as though those are going to be left off for Dokkan Festival characters, which are basically m most of the majority of the year that happens. So that's really good. And dude, Heroes. Heroes is still happening. I The dream is still alive. <laughs> Heroes is still going on. That is awesome. I, I love it. So lots to unpack from here, man. That is very, very good. So Dokkan, it's starting from October, it seems, if we take a look at the calendar. 
uh, again, with all the details and everything like that, it seems that on October is when we are starting to get this new change on the summon format where Dokkan Festival characters can be obtained with the same pity format. So that, that the legendary summon, the legendary summon cards or legendary summon banners were able to have uh, in the past. So that's very good. I like that. So yeah, dude, so many new things are coming up uh, in the next few months, uh, leading all the way to the 10th anniversary. We're gonna be getting like special fights or special challenges uh, when it comes to like, yeah, this coin collecting campaign that's gonna be pretty cool. That's the logo there for the 10th anniversary. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know when this official. I think it's all going to start in October. So we're going to be able to see all of these things heading over to January. And we all know now that the anniversary is going to be global and JP at the same time. So it's at the end of January. So I re really recommend for people start saving now. I don't think people should start spending their stones on any other celebration. Unless we are thinking of getting the thank you celebration later this month or later this year. Uh, and then after the, the thank you celebration, we go into the new year of January. Uh, I feel like the most important characters that could come out is the New Year's Dokkan Fest. Like New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest characters. That could be a, a tricky bit to like maybe like skip or not. And then we also will get the... Uh, January to February, which is the anniversary. So very excited, dude. I'm so happy. All these updates coming in. That's pretty good. <laughs> this quality of life update changes are going to be so good. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, a lot of stuff. Primordially, I thought the news was going to be all about... Oh, that was not the thing that I wanted to press. Uh, primordially, the, the thing that I wanted to see was... Uh, this we saw this and i was like oh well that's the little bit of a spoiler there uh but we had a lot more to unpack from this so lovely i love it so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoyed uh <laughs> that's very interesting let me know your thoughts down in the comments below hopefully you guys enjoy hit that like button subscribe i'll see you guys all hopefully in the next video take care now bye bye